Hello and welcome to 3 Dotto TV. I am Vishakha Thakur. You are watching The Coin Monitor. Virtual digital assets or VDA continue to witness an upbeat mood. Bitcoin hit its highest level in 13 months on Thursday and reached $31,500 levels, drawing support from fund manager plans, including BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, to launch a US listed spot Bitcoin exchange traded fund. BlackRock CEO Larry Fink remarks about crypto, specifically Bitcoin, have also boosted investor sentiment. Fink believes that that if we can create more tokenization of assets and securities, that's what Bitcoin is, it could revolutionize finance. Well, Fink has painted a positive picture for crypto, but fell short of providing an exact time frame for ETF launch. BlackRock, Investco, Wisdom Tree, and others have approached the Securities Exchanges Commission for regulatory approval. Nasdaq refiled its application to list BlackRock's ETF according to a filing made public on Monday. Interestingly, Bitcoin miners are awash with funds from transaction fees, a multi-million dollar windfall generated this past quarter due to the popularity of BRC20 tokens and ordinals according to coin metrics. In other news, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange saw its best June for Bitcoin futures volumes rising an astounding 28.6% to $37.9 billion. Ethereum-based instruments also saw a hefty rise per CC data. Separately, the report also added that less than 10% of Bitcoin trading volume occurs on registered US crypto exchanges, with platforms like Coinbase and Kraken losing out on transactional revenue. The crypto market cap has added just over $10 billion in a day and has gone back above $1.210 trillion on CMC. Most larger cap altcoins are slightly in the red on a daily scale, aside from Sol and BCH, both of which have neared round numbered milestones as well. US stock futures fell following a losing session on Wall Street as traders continued to weigh the outlook for Federal Reserve monetary policy. Futures tied to the Dow Jones Industrial Average lost 153 points or 0. 4%, S&P 500 futures fell 0.4% along with Nasdaq 100 futures. Bitcoin, the largest cryptocurrency by market value, changed hands 2.12% higher at $31,163. Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency by market value, recently quoted at $1,941.61, up 1.58%. Solana Sol is up 8.11% at $20.27. Polygon Matic quoted 1.92% higher to $0.70. Dogecoin edged 1.65% up at $0.0680. Avalanche Vice was trading at $13.03, up 2.36%. Ripple's XRP is gaining 1.01% at $0.48. Next on the list, BNB has added 1.93% to trade at $242.50. Shiba Inu was trading up by 2.28%. Cardano's ADA token was higher. 2.14% to trade at $0.29. Polkadot was quoting 2.1% higher to trade at $5.31. And now let's cut across to a market analyst to know his views on the overall cryptocurrency markets. Before we jump on Bitcoin chart to understand how price is doing, let's have a look at the market greed and fear index to understand how traders are reacting to the current price of Bitcoin. Right now, Bitcoin is at $31,179 and the Greed and Fear Index is at 56 Yesterday, it was at 61 The current point is actually not greed, but it is a kind of neutral thing. If we see the monthly returns of Bitcoin for the last decade, we would see that the month of July has always given great returns. It's just the start of July and we are already seeing a 2.04% return in Bitcoin. The whole month is up ahead. If we talk about long and short ratio of Bitcoin, we would see that it is quite in a balance. 50.82% are bullish and 49.18% are bearish. This is the ratio between the longs and shorts open on various exchanges as you can see here the amount of longs and shorts they are almost same this is for last 24 hours and if we check the bitcoin chart bitcoin is still struggling 
at the 31,000 resistance for a very long time now, almost over a week. And as we discussed in the previous video, this is quite a strong resistance to break. The good news is that Bitcoin is still holding quite firmly on this zone and not getting rejected. For a small correction, it is quite possible that it goes back 30,536 to test the 50 EMA. We can see the similar things in Ethereum chart as well, where we can see these are the zones that Ethereum is trapped right now. The resistance falls at 1983 and the latest support is at $18.25. There is nothing much to talk about this as of now. But we are very sure that because July has been giving great returns for Bitcoin and Ethereum follows Bitcoin. So we are going to see good returns for this month. Already the Bitcoin dominance has rose 1.44% from the start of this week. That is it for now. If you are planning to make a trade, make sure to do a proper risk management. Well, that's all in the Coin Monitor. This is me, Vishakha Thakur, signing off. For more on such market related updates, please log on to our website www.3voicetv.io or scan the QR code. With three Dodo TVs, stay connected with the world of blockchain. Stay up to date with infinite world of NFTs. Come explore and evolve with three Dodo TV in the metaverse. So many coins, so much volatility. Three Dodo TV delivers the news that matters.